Hey everybody, welcome back. This is the final part of the APMD's first pickup video. Yeah, I buy stuff too. Who would have thought, right? Okay, so right now we're going to jump in instantly to the stuff you probably thought I would have bought, seeing how I'm the APMD. I love my movies and I love my video games. But the first item I want to show you is an item I've been trying to find for a long time. It is not the most uh, easily accessible item. It is not the most popular item. Something I did have when I was growing up and I've wanted to replace ever since. Uh, that is Dr. Killamoff. Complete in packaging. If you don't know Dr. Killamoff, he is from the cartoon series Toxic Crusaders, which is based off the movie series The Toxic Avenger. Although it does not have really anything to do with The Toxic Avenger. Uh, it is a good series. It's only 13 episodes. I really enjoyed it growing up as a kid. I was one of the only kids I knew growing up who had any Toxic Crusader stuff and one of the things I remembered from it was it had some uh, glow-in-the-dark goo which is still in there and his gun glows in the dark so this is very nostalgic for me I'm happy to pick this up I got it at the flea market I had to pay more than I wanted to for it but because of the availability of these items and the condition that it's in uh, I was willing to pay that money and she's gonna give me a deal on something very very special this weekend which I'll probably do a video just to show you guys so uh, yeah, it's really awesome. If you've never seen the cartoon, it's only 13 episodes. Go check it out. It's definitely worth your time. Okay, so moving along, uh, like I said in the last one, I have not really picked up too many games, but I did get two. Now, the first one is one I've never really played, and to be honest, I have no desire to really play. It's called The Shoot. Uh, a lot of you have probably heard of it. You kind of need the Wii Move, I believe, to use this one. Yes, it requires the motion controller, which I don't have and I don't really use ever. I, uh, I bought the Wii for that reason, not the PlayStation. So, you know, it's still in the wrapper. It'll probably stay in the wrapper, but, you know, it was cheap. Threw it in my stash. Now, this game, I actually wanted to get XCOM Enemy Unknown. I have an XCOM game. I think it's called Declassified, which I've only managed to play a little bit. But it definitely piqued my interest a little bit that I played. I found this one for $3. It's still in the cellophane. So that's better than the uh, $20 I would have originally spent on it when I saw it in the discount bin. Um, yeah, again, $3 still in the cellophane. I had to buy it. I wish I could tell you more about it, but, uh, you know, maybe I'll do a video on it. Come back to the APMD channel. Check it out when I play it. Okay, moving along now. This is the final, final act. You know I love movies, so I'm just going to blast through some of the movies that I've gotten recently. Like I said in the last one, I've been watching the Marvel movies recently. It's really got me back into superheroes. I got out of superheroes for probably a good 10, 15 years. Uh, it's got me back into them. So I'm going out with my girlfriend and trying to build collections of superhero movies and complete some of the collections that we had. So uh, we picked up the X-Men because I used to have it. I don't know what happened to it. And then we were at a store where we found the X2 for, I think it was $2. It was still in the wrapper, but I opened it. Uh, well, maybe I, I partially opened it. Uh, but for $2, that completed our set because we had found Days of Future Past at uh, an HIV, I believe it was, for like $5. So that was our X-Men series complete for you know $5. That was a pretty good deal. We also got this. This is the Wolverine movie. Um, I don't really know a lot about Wolverine. I'm hoping that this movie will kind of enlighten me a little bit. But my girlfriend likes it, so we grabbed that. And then to complete that series, uh, we got a really good deal on this one too. Uh, we got the X-Men Wolverine. Now I wasn't too, too interested in getting this until I had seen Deadpool and found out that Deadpool is portrayed in this. So I figured, uh, I think it was $5. I spent the $5 to get a little bit of background on Wolverine, the X-Men, and Deadpool. And that really completed our X-Men until uh, the new X-Men movies. Uh, I can't remember what they're called, but, you know, we'll get on those too. Um, I was actually only missing one movie from my Batman series, which was, you know, obviously Batman and Robin. I have the other three on VHS. Uh, I actually prefer these movies on VHS. I don't know why when I see them on DVD, I really have no interest in even touching them or looking at them or anything. Uh, but when I do find them on DVD, I like to pick, or sorry, when I do find them on VHS, I like to pick them up, hold them, look at the artwork, even though I do have them at home. There's just something about holding an old uh, Batman movie on VHS for me. Uh, but I needed to get this because I don't find the VHS one of this very often, so I just 
bought this whole package, got it all on DVD now. So, you know, got the whole set. That problem is solved. Uh, moving along to some of the stuff that I don't know as much about. Well, actually, that's a lie. I'll show you this one first, which I love. This is Howard the Duck. If you don't know who Howard the Duck is by now, it came out like 20 fucking years ago. And he had a little cameo at the end of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Which gives me some credence to believe that maybe Marvel is going to be bringing back Howard the Duck in some aspect. Now, anyone who has seen this movie, it's a cult classic. Um, Howard the Duck has deserved a re-mention or a remake or anything for a long time. As long as they do it justice... It could be really good. This is a movie that was totally underrated, I believe. And, you know, every time I watch it, whoever I watch it with, they have a great time. So, you know, if you haven't seen Howard the Duck, go grab it. You could probably find it for like four or five bucks. It's not bad. And uh, the movie is well worth your time. Um, this one is The Ev the Watchmen. Now, I'm going to be perfectly honest. I haven't seen her... Bleh. I haven't known anybody to have seen The Watchmen but I believe I was watching my Pat the NES Punk DVD and he had a mini review on The Watchmen and his praise for it was enough to get me to go buy it. I think it was $1.99, so after I watched his review on it, uh, I found it the next day and I was like, you know, for $1.99, Pat made it seem really good. I'm hoping it was Pat. I'm sorry if it was a nostalgia critic. I am really sorry. But I'm, ho I'm, I'm pretty sure it was Pat. Um, but, you know, like I said, if uh, Pat's word holds up, it's going to be a good movie, and I'm looking forward to watching it. Uh, then we got the Fantastic Four. I did have The Rise of the Silver Surfer already, which I had seen. I didn't mind it, actually. I thought it was a really good movie, considering how I don't know anything about The Silver Surfer. I was definitely intrigued, and ever since I've seen the second one, I've wanted to see the first one. So we grabbed that. I think, again, it was like 4 or $5. That completes our uh, two Fantastic Four set. Maybe I'll go for four movies. Who knows? Um, okay, now this one is Spider-Man 2. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like the original Spider-Man series. They thought it wasn't as good as it could have been. Uh, to be honest, I saw the first one. I agreed it wasn't the greatest movie. I got the third one when I bought my original PS3 on Blu-ray. And that movie was pretty decent. Although I thought they really didn't do a great job with the Venom. Uh, Venom probably should have had his own movie. Because he is one of the characters that I do like from the Spider-Man series beyond Carnage. Uh, but Spider-Man, you know, again, it was like three, four dollars that completes our Spider-Man series, and uh, now I can give it a real shot. I can watch them all in a row, and I could really give you an honest opinion. Okay, these last two are uh, again movies I have not seen in probably fifteen to twenty years. Uh, I saw them when I was a kid, and I've never watched them since. And those are Superman, Superman the movie, and Superman two. I'm not a big Superman guy i was always a batman guy i did have a S superman toy that i would always make my batman toy beat up but uh you know i heard if you're gonna watch any two superman movies these are the two to watch so uh the salesman did convince me that you know for the price these were very good i think they were six dollars each so for six dollars each i'm really hoping he didn't lead me astray i'm really hoping superman is got done well uh and this, I'm going to watch this before I go see Batman vs. Superman, to be honest. And I'm going to try to watch the Superman Man of Steel before I go see it as well. I might not get to see it in theaters, but that's just the break sometimes. And now I have one more item to show you. It is the most prized item in the movie category that I've had is basically since I got Star Wars The Force Awakens. Uh, they did come out only a month apart. Which is, it was great for me because it gave me a month to binge my Star Wars and then I get to binge Deadpool. Now for you who know who Deadpool is and have seen the movie, I don't have to explain why this is so awesome to get. Um, I'm getting a raging boner right now, just thinking about watching it for the fifth time. Uh, Deadpool is the shit. If you haven't seen Deadpool, just pick it up. Don't even question it. Just pick it up. If you ever listen to the 8-Bit MD and trust my judgment, trust this one. Uh, it is the superhero movie for adults. It's a superhero movie for people who desire a little bit more of an adult theme to kids' movies. And it is definitely breaking the fourth barrier with the jokes, with the sexual innuendo, and the storyline is amazing. Now, I walked into Deadpool not knowing anything about Deadpool within the first five minutes of the movie my brother can attest to this I leaned over to him and said I fucking love this guy already 
So this is a buy of the month. This was just released at the beginning of May. Uh, it's only, I think it was cost like $29.99 or something, but it comes with the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital combo pack. Again, one of my most prized possessions of this month's pickup. Uh, if you haven't seen it, go get it. If you haven't gone got it, go see it. And this is the 8 MD saying thanks for joining me for my first pickup video. And what do you know? I buy shit too.